Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love to, for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints? And what is the exceeding greatness of His power toward us who believe, according to the working of His mighty power, which He worked in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and seated Him at His right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God endures forever. Please be seated as we pray. O oh, gracious God and Father, we again lift our hearts up to you, and we give you thanks, O oh Lord, that we have the great privilege of hearing your voice and of gathering together to worship you, not only once on the Lord's day, but twice on this holy day that you have set aside for worship and holy rest. We ask you, Father, that 